I just got back from Meet Kevin's Mastermind event, and what I learned there is gonna change my real estate investing strategy for the moment, and I'll share it with you why on number seven. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design, and here's seven takeaways that I got from Meet Kevin's Mastermind event. All right, number one, Kevin absolutely loves artificial intelligence, AKA AI, and he uses it in real estate to find deals. You might be sitting there and like, how does he use AI to find deals? Well, he created a program using AI where he can actually take all the listings and kind of scrape everything together using certain criteria with pictures and listing comments and description, should I say. And he's literally put this algorithm together where wherever he lands, he can scan by hitting a certain button on his app and it's called the Wedge Finder app and it helps him find deals and it'll pull up two or three that he finds that he's like, let's go look at these deals, which allows him to be able to buy more houses for house hack and not him personally, but for house hack. And if you haven't invested in house hack, if they do another round, I highly encourage you to do that. My wife and I, we invested and we're super excited for what's coming with that. More details to follow. Number two, Kevin wakes up at three in the morning and studies his industry, whether it's stocks, real estate, he gets all up to date on the news so that he's an expert, he's up to date. And what I found was when I was there, I kind of got a little convicted because I realized I'm not studying the real estate market the way I could. I'm not studying finances the way I could. I'm not studying stocks the way I could, right? And so what is the area that you're focused in on? Are you studying it so that you are absolutely up to date, you are relevant, and you are an expert in that field? We can always learn and grow, but the question is, are you prepared and are you relevant on what's happening in your industry? Number three, this is an obvious one, but when it comes to real estate, you never run out of deals, you run out of money, right? And so a couple of things here I'll say on this is, deals are always gonna come, right? They've been coming for decades and they're always gonna continue to come on the market. People die, people are tired of where they live, people wanna upgrade, people wanna, downgrade and so real estate market's always going to move and depending on the psychology of individuals where they are in their life cycle of their life you know they're going to either hold on for the long term if they want cash flow they're going to be willing to kind of do a seller financing deal for you or a wrap and we can talk about wraps basically you take over the payment and then you wrap any equity with it and then you pay them a certain amount each month but we'll go into more of those strategies in another video but depending on all that, you're always gonna have movement in the market. Now, yes, with the economy in certain ways and interest rates, that's gonna either slow down or speed up the real estate market. However, deals are always out there. The challenge for most people and investors like myself is money. I'm in the process of raising capital for my next deal. We got an offer all on the table. It's gonna cash flow probably over three grand a month but we don't want to have to drain our account and we're looking to raise about 100 grand, 110 grand for the deal. And as we grow and play in bigger areas and different commercial settings and whatnot, we're going to look to raise capital so we can help people. It's going to help us by not putting all of our money in the deal. It'll also give them great returns, especially for those people that have like 401ks that are just sitting there and they're not doing eight to 10% annually and they want to get a higher rate of return, it's going to be a win for them and backed by an asset versus, you know, just kind of a EFT or an index fund, which is all great. Don't get me wrong, but I like things that are backed by assets. Doesn't mean stocks aren't good. Just means I like things with asset. Number four, this might be a shock, but Kevin does not like partnerships. In fact, when we were at the mastermind, we kind of picked up on that. And then everyone that was asking him questions were basically in partnerships and it just kind of got Kevin to be like, Ugh, you know, a little icky for him. So we would tease him about that. And so that was really fun, but I'll make a video on why I actually disagree with Kevin. But here's what I will say. Kevin's got a better, bigger net worth than me. He has more of an influence than me. And so he's obviously doing something right, but I'll share in another video why I disagree with Kevin and you guys can make your own judgment from there. But if you're in a partnership, it's not a bad thing. It's just Kevin doesn't do them. He likes doing business by himself. And here's the one thing I understand is he knows what he's doing. So if he knows what he's doing, he has the money, he has the knowledge and experience, why would he partner and give up some of the pie, right? He can just hire people to do the things that need to get done and he'll pay way less than giving up half the pie or whatever you negotiate. 
So that's number four. Number five, people always go where the jobs are going. So if you're looking to invest in real estate, where's the job market? Where are new jobs going? What cities, right? Because people get different incentives with taxes and everything. And so depending on where companies move to, right? Like Elon Musk moved from California to Austin, Texas, and he built a huge facility there. And so a lot of jobs are going there. So guess what? Real estate was when that news was happening, real estate prices went through the roof along with other factors around the Austin. At the time we we're recording this video, the prices are dropping right now in Austin. So, but they will stabilize. It's not like they're gonna have a 30% drop. It's not 2008. So anyway, if you're looking to invest in real estate, where are the jobs? Because that's where most of the security is in single family home and even in multifamily, but where are the jobs? Number six, I didn't know you could do this. I had an understanding, but it's just when you're around a group of people, they make it sound so simplistic that it just hits a little bit different. But that is, if you feel like your property taxes have been assessed too high and you think it sh they should be lower, you can fill out a form with your city to get them reduced. So there are opportunities for tax reductions. It doesn't always work, but I hear that you also have a good chance with your city. I never had to do that because I feel like my property taxes are where they need to be. And if they ever get over assessed, then I will fill out that form and kind of have a debate with the city and hopefully get them reduced back down. But for now, we're good to go. Number seven, just like I said, this one has me changing up my real estate strategy. And that is this, you can have up to 10 Fannie and Freddie loans per social security number. So what does that mean? If you're married, it means I could buy 10 properties with my social security number and not having my wife on it. And she can buy 10 properties with her social without having me on it. And that way you can get up to 20 loans, right? Bring the 10 together. You get up to 20 loans. Here's why I like that is depending on where you are in your real estate investing strategy, what your debt to income ratio is, your DTI. Some people like even me and my wife, we use the DSCR loan, a debt service coverage ratio loan, which requires 20%, just like a traditional loan does. But if your debt to income is too high on your social, what's happening is a DSCR is great for that. However, if you have rentals and you are cash flowing and pretty significant, we're not talking like one or $200 a door, that's not enough per year to be able to move the needle for you. I'm talking thousands of dollars and even tens of thousands of dollars that can be beneficial then in your debt to income ratio. But you get better rates when you go conventional than you would DSCR. So you have to know your strategies, but what's gonna shift for me? My wife is I'm gonna start buying properties in my name and then she's gonna buy one in her name and then we're gonna do ping pong back and forth. This way we can maximize with all the cash flow we're getting because we're getting about 20% cash on cash returns for the deals that we're doing. And so I will quickly plug in, we're not financial advisors, we're not giving financial advice, it's just what we would do and I wanna give you that disclaimer. That's what we did and we're gonna change that up and so that's gonna allow us to get better rates, we're gonna refinance at better rates instead of a DSCR loan. There may be times where we actually use that depending on where we are, we're selling a, a house, a short-term rental in the mountains here that's got a, a big monthly mortgage but that'll help and we're also developing some land and so anyway, we're really excited about that. And if you didn't know that, now you do, and it can be extremely beneficial for you. So with that, there was way more distinctions in the mastermind, but these were the top seven I wanted to share with you. And so if you have any questions around it, let me know. If you're ever interested in being part of his mastermind, you can reach out and I can tell you what I think and you know about the other people and the event and Kevin. And it's just really cool to see someone from YouTube that's very influential and to be able to meet them in person. No, I'm not a big fanboy, but I do give honor where honors do. And he's very intelligent, very wise and very helpful. So it was a really good experience down in Santa Monica is where we did it. So with that, if you found value, please hit that subscribe button, give it a like, thumbs up and share this with a friend with someone and also hit that notification button so that you can get notified when more of these videos come out. And as always, if you're on your path to financial freedom, you find yourself stuck and need help, reach out and myself or one of our coaches can help support you on that journey. So with that, my name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.